Hello everybody, Swan's here today to make a video. <laughs> I'm very excited about this project idea because I've been wanting to do it for a while. And what I'm doing today is making a Hamtaro shirt with my Cricut Joy. I've never done <laughs> this before. I mean, I've used the Cricut but I've never like layered vinyl. I kind of briefly watched a tutorial, but I have an idea of how I'm gonna do it anyway, which isn't what they told me to do. <laughs> so I'm kind of winging it, but it's gonna be fine. And I think it's gonna turn out well. Now, the reason why I want to make a Hamtaro shirt specifically is because I go to the mall, as you do. I peruse online, as you do, and I see so many like nostalgic TV show shirts, but like Box Lunch or Hot Topic. You see shirts for Inuyasha and I always buy them and that's great, but never once have I seen a Hamtaro shirt. I was obsessed with Hamtaro. I watched Sailor Moon, but I was never obsessed with Sailor Moon. I was obsessed with Hamtaro. I watched it all the time. I did the theme song. I had all the little rubber hamsters. I'm gonna show them to you, give me a second. This is what I'm talking about, okay? The ham hams. Look at them. Oh my gosh, so cute. Cute. I thought they were pencil toppers when I first got them and then I realized you can like stick them on like a seesaw and they'll teeter totter with the hole in the butt. I would go to Walgreens after school and get a two pack of these bad boys for like three bucks every day. <laughs> I'm making a ham taro shirt and I don't need to explain myself to you. I'm 29 years old and I fucking love hamsters. I got this for five bucks at Walmart <laughs> and I have my vinyl. I'm ready to rock and roll. Where's my iPad? My other iPad. <laughs> I kind of wanted to do a combination of Hamtaro like jumping and cheering. It's hard because he has so many good looks. Um, and I, I kind of like the one of him singing because he just turns into a triangle with a little mouth. <laughs> I'm like, that's kind of stupid. It's him time, roll time. All right, I'm just gonna go for it. I think I have an idea. I do also want to say that I was very against getting an iPad because I don't like Apple. You know, it's just one of those things. And then I finally did it, and now it's like one of the best things that ever happened to me. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so a firm recommendation from Wa. Thus far with the pro, uh, with the Cricut, I've only done like one color. This is a new thing for me, guys. I know how you just love when I come here and pretend like I know what I'm talking about and I've never actually done it before. It's a very charming quality. <laughs> Again, I think it goes without being said that uh, this is not an educational tool. This is just me having fun. If you find it educational in some way, then that's awesome. Um, yeah, maybe this eye open. We'll try that. This eye open, this eye close. Like he's almost like he's winking. Oh my god, it's so cute. Girl, I just spit all over my iPad. Excuse me. really hard not just to do the scratching the head because gosh she looks so cute in that position but I'm like I want to at least see one open eye. I think perhaps he is also just still not fat enough for my liking so I'm gonna make him even fatter. I'm also gonna duplicate these layers in case I mess something up. We're gonna expand on our liquify tool and I'm just gonna make his head fatter. Yay! How I eat the snap. Look at that. I don't even know if you can see it. Screen to screen contact. I don't even know. Um, it doesn't matter. Okay, that actually didn't take that long, right? We did it. We drew Hamtaro. Also, I want to write Hamtaro on the shirt, but I think I will just get the logo. Okay, that took an embarrassing amount of time. <laughs> Finding the logo and then tracing it um, and making my own version. So I now have exported my images as PNGs. I'm going to open them in the Cricut Creative app. And now this is where we're going to tell the Cricut basically like what to cut out and how to cut it out. I did it as a PNG, so it's already transparent. So basically I just need to take out the parts. 
I don't want. So, okay, let's just take out everything that's not orange. And I have to make sure that I scale these to exactly the same size. So that when they cut out, they cut out the same. Now, as you see, this is dirty. It's barely sticky anymore. I lost the plastic thing to cover it, to protect it. And I'm just being honest with you, this is who I am, okay? I didn't buy a new one, I forgot. So let's hope it works. <laughs> Hopefully you can still see me. I tried to angle it down so you guys can see what's going on. I don't have the Cricut brand iron. I'm a poor person. I bought a $10 iron and you know, I, I can't buy, I can't buy all the Cricut accessories, <laughs> they're a million dollars. It's so funny when you see like the fancy craft channels who do everything correctly and they have like a nice workspace and they have all the little preening tools and everything's just, it's, this is, that's not me, okay? And that's not what this is about. I'm just using the Cricut because it's the easiest way to do the thing I want to do. I know I'm stupid but I am going to look up the heat guide uh, so that I can try to do what is equivalent on this other iron. Oh, okay. This is the Sportflex iron-on because this shirt is polyester. Do do doggy, <laughs> under the table, very warm on my feet. Very soft and warm in there, yeah. Nice, that was nice. All right, I'm going to resize a Hamtaro base here to be, I'm gonna make it as big as I can make it. Now I know what you're thinking. This probably isn't the best way to do this. I know that Cricut has like something built in to try and help you cut things out in layers, but I'm, you know, whatever. This can't be that hard. We need to make sure we put the mirror on so that it cuts right, correctly, okay. This does not, this doesn't stick at all. This is embarrassing, okay. It's Howdy. He was my favorite. We're gonna do it guys, here we go. We're loading it. Kidoki. Please come, come, come. What if I just did the whole thing in black, right? Hear me out. And then I just cut out the part I want and stuck it on the other part. I know what you're thinking. Sarah, just watch a tutorial. Sarah, just do it how you're supposed to do it. Well, you know, you're not the boss of me. You're not the boss of me now and you made sure big. Oh my God. I can just put the black layer down first and then put the orange layer on top of it. Mirror on, yes, 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 yes. Oh, that's hot. Honestly, because I didn't need the outline. So my one advice, honestly, if you get yourself a Cricut at some point and you want to start making designs, I got the Cricut to translate my art designs into things I could sell. If the design is too complicated, it'll just be an absolute pain in the ass. So it's best to try to simplify your, you know, your designs because you'll be sitting here picking out like little bits for forever. This part's gonna be very difficult because I'm stupid. What are you doing back there, bud? You forging for things or what's going on? Oh my God, you just farted so loud, dude. Everybody knows about your little dog fart. Ooh, it smells, yeah. So yeah, like I said, I just found the Hamtaro logo and I traced the Japanese. Okay, so here's the one I made and then I'm gonna make it the maximum six inches long. 
You need to turn the mirror on because it's text. You don't want to read things backwards. I'm just going to have to watch this one and hold it down and hope I don't cut myself. I highly recommend making sure you have a sticky map and not letting your life turn out like mine. Despite how horrifying that was, this is probably just exhilarating to watch, I know. All right, we've done it. It was horrifying, but we did it. Here's the comes apart where everything might be ruined. I think it should be fine though, okay? I think I have placed this on here in a way that it's going to be just fine. So let me look up how long you're supposed to heat this for. Normally it's like 30 seconds, but like I said, I haven't used a sport flex, so let's just make sure. I like to try and cover the whole thing at once, but I can't, so we're gonna do our best. I don't know if this is hot peel or cold peel, does it say? Okay, it says on here that it's a, a warm peel, meaning I should be able to peel it while it's still warm. I could check the corner and see. It appears to be on there. Okay, so far so good. Now, I need to put the mouth over top of the mouth where it needs to go. Oh, and I need to put the whiskers on where they need to go. Now, I have to put this plastic back on top of the whole thing because I don't want to ruin anybody. And then I'm gonna do another 30 seconds on each of these pieces. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over, heat it from the back. Okay, now we should be able to peel it again. I could kill myself. That's so cute. That's so cute. <laughs> Look at him. My best friend. We like some plushies. Come, come, come. My him, him. Directly underneath is cute. A little bit off to the side is also very kawaii. Now I gotta be, make sure that when I come over here, I don't touch what's already on there without protection. Oh, there's a little piece still here. Glad I noticed that. It should be good to peel now. Oh. Laura's gone to school. Let's go to our hand hand clubhouse. And just be quiet as a mouse. Um, wow, I think I'm done. I mean, I could add more things to it, of course. But I only have two colors of vinyl, so what would I really put on? Oh, my dog put her paw on my foot, and you, I know you don't believe me, but it's happening under the table right now. My dog is shaking foot with me. It's pretty cute. Um, I'm gonna try this shirt on. I'll be right back. yet or anything but it seems like it's gonna work the vinyl went on really well it's nice and smooth it laid down flat this was a great experience I highly recommend getting a <laughs> they're very expensive okay but they are fun I mean look at this great shirt and I layered vinyl for the first time even though I know I probably didn't do it the way that it should probably be done it still turned out cute in my opinion <sighs> all right Fran come up come up come up See, no one believed you were under the table, but you really were the whole time when you kissed my foot. Your soft flesh touched my foot and it felt really nice. It was really nice. Thank you, Fran. Great $5 shirt. Uh, highly recommend the project if you guys want to try to do something like this for yourself. But I'm just happy because now I can wear a Hamtaro shirt out in public and people can say, oh my God, it's Hamtaro. And I'm like, I know. And then I can meet all the like-minded people who love Ham hams, okay? Because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to find my fellow ham ham lovers out there. I don't really like bijou or pashmina, I'm not gonna lie. 
Um, pledge to my Patreon if you want to, to see videos one day early and uh, monthly stickers, you know. I have a setup now and it should be simpler for me to edit, but hopefully this comes together well. And thank you guys for watching, I love you. Stay tuned for more crafting because I have a lot of stuff. The world, the world needs more of me crafting in it. Love you, bye.